Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw Mary from Hocus Pocus. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with Mary Sanderson, we're going to begin with the eyes. And we're going to start right about here on our paper. So let's begin by making a line that's going to come up and then down in like a sad face shape. We're going to leave some space and then we'll do that same thing over here. We're just going to come up and down. We'll connect each line at the bottom. And inside of here, let's go ahead and make a nice circle inside each eye. And then we're going to color in most of this, leaving just a little bit white. So we're going to color in most of the eye, leaving just a tiny bit white for a little reflection. Now right above the eye, I like to go over it once or twice just to make it a little bit darker so it kind of looks like there's some makeup on there. And then I like to make a little line that comes out on each side just for a little bit of the eyelash or eyeliner. Now for the nose, we're just going to make a little oval shape right here but we're not going to fill in the bottom. Now for the mouth, I'm going to make a little smile. And then we're going to add a little line right here. Now starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go up and down and up and down for the lips. And then right here, we're going to make a line that's going to come out to the side and then it's going to come up for kind of like a little bit of a crooked looking mouth. And then I'm going to put a little dot right here for a mole. Now up above here, I'm going to make the eyebrows. So I'm going to make a line that's going to come down right above each eye. And then I'm going to make a line that's going to come up and then we're going to bring this back. You can see it's a little skinnier here and a little fatter here. So do that same thing. Let's come up and then we're going to bring it back. And then I'm going to color in this eyebrow. And we'll do the same thing here. Just go ahead and fill in the eyebrow. Now starting here, I'm going to make the face. So we're going to start here and we're going to make lines going to go down and it's going to come around. So we're going to start here, we're going to go down, and we're going to bring this around and up to here. Now starting here, I'm going to make a little bit of a wavy line that's going to come down and then we're going to bring this back up. And we'll do the same thing here. We're just going to kind of come down, make a little bit of a wavy line, and then we're going to come back up. Next, we're going to curve this line up, and I'm going to curve this line up. And then right in the middle, let's make a big smiley face. I'm going to make another smiley face here and then one more right here for some curves. Starting here, we're going to make a half oval shape on each side for the ears with a little line right inside of here. Starting here, we're going to go out and then we're going to curve in and we'll do the same thing here, out and in, just to kind of shape out the hair. And then right here, we're going to make a line that's going to curve up. It's going to come down lower and then over to here. Now we're going to do a couple more of those, and we're going to make them kind of lean over. So we'll do another one. We'll come up. We'll go down and then curve it. Do another one. Go up and down and kind of curve it there. We'll make another one here. We're going to kind of curve it up. And we'll do a couple more. We'll do one here. And we'll do one right here. Then we'll make a little line that's going to curve up, and that's going to come down to here for the top of the hair. Now 
Now, starting here, I'm going to make the neck. So I'll make two little lines that come down for the neck. Then we'll make two lines that come out. And then we'll curve it around to connect it. Starting here, we're going to make lines going to come out. And it's going to go down and over. And then we're going to make lines going to come down. And then we're going to bring it right back up here. Over here, we're going to make lines going to come out. And then it's going to come down and then in a little bit. Starting here, we're going to make this line come down, and then we're going to go out and then in. And then same thing here, we're just going to go down, we're going to come out, and then in. We'll make this line come up and down, then we're going to go up and down again. Now starting here, we'll make another little line. And we'll make another one right over here for some more detail. Now, for her dress, we're going to draw a line that's going to curve around. And then we're going to make some little X shapes. So we'll make a little oval here. And then we'll make one right behind it. We'll do one more. We'll make a little oval. And we'll make one right behind it. Right here, we're going to draw a line that's going to go down and then back up. We're going to make a couple little curved lines here. And then right here, we're going to make a line that's going to come up and down. We're going to go out, and then we're going to bring it back. We'll make another one here and one more right here. Then we'll make a little bump right here for the thumb. And then I'm going to add some little black lines on here for the nails. And then we can make your cast in a little spell. So we can make a little kind of wavy, swirly, bumpy line up here. And there you go, there is your drawing of Mary Sanderson from Hocus Pocus. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.